During the Bronze Age, the island of Cyprus was inhabited by the Mycenaean Greeks, and as time went by, was home to some of the greatest empires in history. Let's travel to 1571. The Ottomans attacked Cyprus, then under Venetian rule and annexed it to their empire. Over time, a sizable and enduring Turkish community emerged here and began living alongside the existing Greeks. Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots live side by side, relatively in peace. Around 250 years later, and less than a thousand miles away, the Greeks waged war against the Ottoman Empire, demanding their independence. Inspired by this, the Greek Cypriots on the island revolted as well. Greece succeeded and gained its independence. However, the Cypriot uprising was crushed by the Ottomans. It was during this time that a Greek Cypriot desire to become part of Greece, also known as Enosis, emerged. Moving on to 1878. The Ottoman Empire was tremendously debt-ridden and a mere shadow of its earlier greatness. To protect its interests, a secret treaty was signed with the United Kingdom that ceded the administration of Ottoman Cyprus to Britain in exchange for military protection. A few years later, the First World War broke out. Britain and the Ottoman Empire chose different sides and were soon at war with each other. The Ottomans were defeated and their empire collapsed. Cyprus was annexed by the United Kingdom and made into a crown colony. In the years that followed, Greek Cypriots, who were in majority, demanded Enosis once more. A referendum was held where more than 95% of Greek Cypriots voted in favour of Enosis. Britain rejected the idea and in response, an organisation called the EOKA took up arms against the British, vowing to unite Cyprus with Greece by force. Turkish Cypriots responded with their own demand of Taksim, or partition of the island, spearheaded by an organization called the TMT. With the TMT and EOKA in play, the struggle took a violent turn. Greece brought the matter to the UN demanding Enosis, while Turkey opposed it. Both nations were part of NATO and talks reached a deadlock. Representatives of all the concerned parties met in 1959, hoping to resolve the problem. Britain agreed to withdraw from Cyprus, and the Republic of Cyprus was proclaimed the following year. It was decided that the President of the New Republic would be chosen by the Greek Cypriots, while the Vice President would be chosen by the Turkish Cypriots. The violence, however, did not end, and the United Nations were forced to set up a peacekeeping force on the island in 1964. As time went on, Greece began to lose faith in the President of Cyprus, Makarios III, and staged a coup in 1974, replacing him with a pro enesis nationalist. In response to the coup, Turkey invaded the island under Article 4 of the Guarantee Treaty and took control of the north, now dividing the nation in two. What used to be a culturally diverse country soon transformed into an ethnically divided island. A population exchange was agreed upon and now Turkish Cypriots began living in the north while Greek Cypriots lived in the south. More than 250,000 Cypriots were displaced during this time. In the north, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus was declared in 1983, recognized only by Turkey. Turkey continues to maintain a large army force here. The Republic of Cyprus regards this as an occupation force and feels that talks cannot go ahead as long as there is such a large presence of foreign troops on Cypriot soil. But many in the north are scared that if the Turkish army leaves, the Greek Cypriots will take over the north. This is a major issue and has caused yet another collapse in peace talks between the two sides.